but he's not on today's list. Aha! Uh -huh. Oh my god! He just changed right in front of us! No, you're not going to get to devour me! Hello friends and lurkers and welcome back to the channel. This is just like a little bonus video that I want you to do because I'm kind of going to try and aim for daily videos. Um, <clears throat> seen a, a little thing about this game and it looks quite fun. Basically we are a... Do you know like when you go to visit someone in an apartment block and they've got like the little check-in desk where there's a person and they'll just make sure you know you're meant to be there. Kind of like a little security officer. Well that's what we are in this game and our job is to sniff out the doppelgangers. So there will be people that will come and pretend to be residents of the apartment block but they're actually not and it's our job to find them. So let's just dive straight in <laughs> and let's see how well we do. <clears throat> okay, so there is only one mode at the minute. I believe they are working on other modes. But right now it says the doppelganger... The doppelgangers you let in don't kill you immediately, but at the end of the run. Get a score rank at the end of the run according to your performance. Possibility to find and complete the um, Chester's quiz. I don't know who Chester is. Ooh, we get a little um cutscene. I did not expect this. The following short film is a production of the DDD with educational files. Hello, if you're watching this film, it's because you're the new doorman in your building. Your job is to determine whether the person who wants to enter the building is a doppelganger. As everyone knows, doppelgangers have the ability to transform into another person and impersonate them. Yup, they do. But some are not too good at it and could generate imperfections. Ah, okay, I see. You have to pay close attention to the appearance of your neighbours. Right. Also remember to fill out the checklist for each neighbour. I love how this one's got a little boob here. <laughs> You can't miss out any detail because it could mean death for you and your neighbours. Oh no! This is the structure of your office. Now we are going to explain how it works. Okay. Here is the security window. Don't forget to observe very well each individual who approaches. Right, so they're going to come up to the little hatch. On the right you have the folders with all the data of each neighbour according to the respective floor. Right. Gotcha, gotcha. To fill out the checklist, take one of the lists in front of you. Mm -hmm. Receive documents from this hatch. Okay, so they're going to post those little documents. I see. If you determine that the individual isn't a doppelganger, then you allow them through into the building with these buttons. Right. Okay. Otherwise, if you determine that it is in fact a doppelganger, press the emergency button and call 3312. Okay, god, this sounds a bit, um... To communicate with the DDD or any other apartment in your building, use a telephone in front of you. Right. Okay, so I think I'm kind of getting where this is going. Your job is really important, so make sure you do it right. Yes, sir. We shall try. <laughs> Finally, we congratulate the doorman of the month, Henry. <laughs> Look at Henry. <laughs> Wasn't that he did an excellent job, but he was the only doorman in the area who didn't get killed by Doppelkaird. <laughs> well done, Henry. Be like Henry. We we'll try to be like Henry. <laughs> Be but better. Okay, be like Henry, but better. Welcome and congratulations on your new job. As you can see on the introductory film, your job is to verify the entry of the neighbours of your building. Each day there will be a list of individuals who will request entry to the building. It is possible that they, there are individuals who request entry that aren't on the list. Okay. 
in which case you will mark on the checklist that they are not on the list and proceed to question them. Also, you must verify that the ID and the entry request are correct and have their respective DDD logo. Don't forget to check the expiration on the IDs. Remember, it's February 1955, so if their ID is before February 1955, it's fake. I wish you good luck. Right. Oh, it's up here. And here, oh, here's the phone number. Here's a little list. Here's the danger button. Oh, hello. Hello. Hi. What is the meaning of life, the universe, and everything else? To have fun. No, it's not. Goodbye. What? Who was that guy? That was a bit weird. Oh my goodness. Good afternoon. You seem to have that disease, you know, where people get the fear of holes. Right, so... This is Gloria Schmidt. You do not look like that. So the ID is in date. It's got the DDD. She's not meant to be here today. Um, and it doesn't say what floor she's on. No, wait, the ID's right. She doesn't look like it. She's no entry request and isn't on today's list. Question individual. My appearance. My cheeks. It is because I have cheese skin. Well, you don't in your picture, love. Yep. You're not on today's list. No, there's something fishy about you, my love. I don't think so. Nope. Unless you're some witch with voodoo powers, you're not on this list. Um, okay, so Gloria Schmidt's ID number, 698522, 6, 698522-341150, 3411503. So that's the right number. Banker, she's only supposed to have a mole on the right cheek. Um, their apartment number is 5123. Let's give them a call. Did that not work? Why is this not working? There we go. Oh, hello, Gloria Schmidt speaking. Aha! Uh -huh. Your husband's not home, but you are. Bitch! You're a doppelganger. You're not pulling the wool over my eyes, cheese cheeks. Oh, we got you now. Yep, I have. A group of agents has been sent to the building. Okay. Please wait for cleaning protocol to run. I will. No, you're not getting to play us like that, Miss Gloria Fake Schmidt. The cleaning protocol is completed. Thank you. Nice suit, by the way. Okay, who's next? Good afternoon, sir. And what's this you've given me? Alf Capuchin. Capuchin? I'm a resident of the building. My apartment is number four on the third floor. Right, so third floor, number four. 
Um, so he's big nose, prominent moustache, uses a monocle, wears a hat, round face. <clears throat> he hasn't given me an ID. No ID. The appearance is right. What's what's he given me as his um, reason? He's an a, he's a resident, so he does have a reason. Is he on the list today? No, he's not. Right. Right, so let's question him. Right, so you forgot to show me the ID. And no, you're not on today's list. Don't act surprised! There's an error, you should be on the list. No, I, I know you're not on the list. Don't, don't try and fool me, Monopoly man. Right, so... One two zero five four. One two zero five four. Eight zero nine six three four seven. Eight zero nine six three four seven. So his ID is right. It is in date. Let's give um his wife a call. So it's four two five eight. Four two five eight. Four two five eight. Thank God this game hasn't been played by millennials who don't even know how to use these bloody phones. Hello, Rath Tillon. So your husband's not at home, that's what I'm just calling to check. His hat? He left it here. Oh, I never even checked this hat. Oh, so, okay, that's fine. So he, he is meant to wear a hat. Where's the hat? So he has left his hat there. I think you're genuine. On you go, sir. Hi. Um, so we have Robertski Peachman. And it's in date. Um, let's see if he's meant to be on. So he is meant to be here today. <clears throat> and right, what's his other document? Um, so he's apartment two on the first floor and he's a resident and he comes from his job as a shoemaker. Right, so let's have a look. Um, he's apartment two. Yep, so there's Robertski Peachman. Has a goatee, big nose, without eyebrows, long neck, and he is a shoemaker. His ID is one one four six five. One 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 four six five two two eight nine seven three oh two two eight nine seven three oh three. Right, so all that checks out. Let's just call I uh, take it that's his father, so we'll give them a call just to double check. Two double six eight. And we'll just check that he's not home. Hello, Albertski. Oh, it's your brother. Sorry, I thought it was your son. My apologies. I think he's safe to go. At least this one was on the list. You know what I mean? He was on the list. Good afternoon. <laughs> right, so we have Maya Stone and it's in date. Perfect. Um she's um floor three apartment one. She's a resident of the building and she's a teacher. So third floor apartment one. She is a teacher, Maya Stone. Long hair, small round nose, freckles, oval face, and eyebrows. Yeah, that looks right. She is on the list. Seven eight nine five six four. Seven eight nine five six four. Five two five one one five. Five two five one one five. Yep. So let's just. So our ID's correct. Appearance correct. Entered quiz. She is on the list, isn't she? She is. Hello. 
Excellent. Right, I think... Yes, yeah, sure. Give me a second, Miss Honey. Okay. I think she was... I think she was genuine. <gasps> I should have called the apartment just to check. Oh, damn. Right, so this is Celine Zverst. Schwerzt. She's a resident of the building and she's come from her job as a model. So she is meant to be on here. No, and her name's Celine. Is her name Celine? Yeah. So she's floor one, apartment four. Oh god, she's got a twin. Both models. Mole on right cheek, small pointed nose. Is where's her mole on the right cheek? It is on the right cheek. Um, so she doesn't have ID. Her appearance is right. Entry request is right. And she is on the list. So where's your ID? Thank you. Shouldn't have to ask in this day and age. There's doppelgangers everywhere for Pete's sake. Okay, so it's in date. Right, let's just check. 78561. 78561-3269514. 3269514. 3269514. Right, I believe you are genuine, but I am just going to call to make sure. So 6996. Just to double check. Hello, Illinois. I'm just checking to see if your sister's home. She's not. Okay. Do you know where she is? Oh, how rude. Okay, I'll let you through, ma'am. Please continue. And who have we got next? Good afternoon. So we have Arnold Schmidt. It's in date. And his reason is he's a resident of the building and he's coming home from his job as a writer. And he lives in um, second floor apartment one. Right, so big eyebrows, prominent moustache, wears a hat, round face, short hair. So he's got his hat on, prominent moustache. Is his eyebrows different? No, they're the same. And he is a writer, so 778-566-778-566-219322. So all that matches. Let's just check that he's not home. 5123. Give me a second, sir. I'm just calling your lovely wife. Won't be too long. Hi, Gloria. Just checking. Is your husband home? He's not? Okay. Right. Well, I think you're genuine. Proceed. And if you're a doppelganger, remember I was kind to you in this moment. Right. Lois Stilinski. 69, so it's in date. Oh, 69. She is meant to be here, so she's floor one, apartment one. Right, big lips, mole on left cheek, round face, short hair. Let's check it's on the left cheek. It is. So her ID's right, appearance right. She doesn't have an entry request, but she is on the list. Question the individual. Yeah, let me see your entry. I, I, I keep telling you guys, in this this climate with doppelgangers wanting to rip your face off and impersonate you, you should be giving me this all at the one time. Thank you. Um, she's a resident of the mother uh, building, sorry, and she went out to visit her mother. Right, so she went to visit her mother. She's a housewife. Oh, aren't you lucky? A kept woman. Right, let's phone 1152.
<laughs> Hello, Mrs. Stalinsky. Is your wife home? Okay, thank you. She is back, yes. Oh, you, you're disappointed she's back? Okay, on you go through, madame. I swear, I hope I'm doing this right. I feel like this has been far too... Too kind of... I've not really had many monsters, have I? I think I've had one. Right, Albert Peachman. That's in date. And his entry request. He's a resident and he's a shoemaker. Floor 1. Apartment 2. Right, moustache, prominent chin, big nose, big eyebrows, that's all right. So one, four, six, five, one, two. One, four, six, five, one, two. Nine, eight, six, three, five, four. Nine, eight, six, three, five, four. And he's a shoemaker. That is correct. Let me just check this file. Yep, I mean, that does look like him. Let's just um, make sure he's not home. So we're looking for 2668. 2668. And I believe this is his brother. Hi there, is your brother home? What? Oh my, what, right, now we have to find out what's wrong here. Albertsky Peachman, is that the right name? Ooh. Have I let in a doppelganger already? One four six five one, one four six five one two nine eight six three five four two nine eight six three five. Albertsky Peachman, Albertsky Peachman. Oh no! Well, if he's already home, we just have to. Do you know what I mean? His ID, right? His appearance, right? But he's not on today's list. Aha! Uh -huh. <gasps> oh my god! <laughs> he just changed right in front of us! No, you're not gonna get into the me! I hope they can't get in here, Jesus! God! Thank you. Goodness, that just goes to show they can look exactly like them, they can have the right ID, they can have the right reason for being there. So that's probably one of the professional doppelgangers, because it did say at the start of the game some of them are not very good at it. He obviously is, like, the best of the best. There was nothing about him that was wrong, and if I hadn't phoned the apartment, he would have got in. Why has he got little hands poking out there? That's not right. <clears throat> so it is in date. McClue Rudd Boys. Right, what's your reason? So you're a resident of the building and your apartment is on the third floor. Yeah, but you've not given me what door number you are. McClue Rudd Boys, retired, big moustache, big nose, always wears a hat. So he is wearing a hat. Let's check. 9645. 9645. 161. 161 846611. So that's right. But these little creepy arms that are poking out the bottom don't. 
Don't sit right with me. What does it say? You're retired? Well, I mean... You have little hands poking out of your scarf, sir. Yes. They're not part of the scarf. You're not on today's list, no. Nope. Not feeling me. You and your little T-Rex arms are going straight to hell! Thank you. Do you know, I probably should have called the apartment first. I've just went and got this guy unalive. <clears throat> I actually don't know how many people we have to do. Thank you. I hope you got his little arms. Thank you. Goodness, you look very creepy. Right, you're not on the list. Isaac Gauze. It's in date. So he's apartment two on floor two. He's a resident of the building. So why does he say his apartment's on the first floor? Hmm. Isaac Gauze. He's a reporter. Big eyebrows, big smile, prominent chin, big nose. Right, so let's check. Four, five, six, nine, eight, double, five. Four, five, six, nine, eight, double, five. One, two, three, six, nine. One, two, three, six, nine. Let's just check and see if anybody's home. Seven, three, three, two. Clearly on the second floor. Yep, I knew it. Lied, lying through that big sparkly smile of his. You, sir. You're a liar. Guess what? You're going straight to hell! Oh. Trying to sneak in my bill. Not on my watch. Don't care how much your turkey teeth cost you. Thank you. I will. I don't know how many people we need to do. I know I've just said that like a couple of minutes ago, but... I mean, yeah, if you're enjoying this video, give it a like and a comment. It really does help. It's free. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. One eye is going to the shop and the other one's coming home with the change, honey. What is going on with this one? Um... <laughs> I think it's meant to be mad. Um, let me just question you real quick because, um, yeah. Show me it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, your eyes. Oh, you, you just modified them? Yeah. Yeah, they're not cars, dude. You can't just modify your eyes. Okay. You're not on today's list. So, 
I'm afraid I've, 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 I've got some bad news for you, um, snail lady. You're going straight to hell! Bloody snail lady, try to sneak it. Oh yeah, I just modified my... Sure you did. Oh dear. It's quite fun. I mean, some of them are really obvious, but that other... Do you know that other guy was the best one so far? Where there was nothing wrong. Right ID, right job, right entry thing. And it just if it hadn't phoned the apartment, he would have got in. To you too, bitch. Right, so you're not on the list, and you're Anastasia McKayley's or something. Um, so floor two, apartment four. I live here, whatever. My apartment is on the fourth, is 04 on the second floor, right? Okay, second floor, 04. Anastasia McKayley's. She's a student, tired eyes, two ponytails. So all that checks out. So 13269853436962. Let's phone your um sister, maybe? 1346. Hi, Nasha. Nasha, is your sister home? Oh, your daughter and you. Okay. All right. So now we need to figure out. So she's another one that's got it really good. Is her ID and date? Oh, does, doesn't have a date. Doesn't have a date. Right, let's question her. So. She does have an ID, she does look right, she doesn't have an entry, she does have an entry request, she isn't on today's list, let's see what she says. Okay, you have to leave due to an emergency or whatever. Right, well, I'm very sorry Anastasia, but you're gone straight to hell! I just imagine the guys in the yellow suits come bursting through the hallway doors with giant flamethrowers and just, you know, melt them to, to shreds, just disintegrate them. And then mop up the mess. <laughs> oh, I wonder what happens to them. It'd be quite interesting. Thank you. How many more people am I going to have to let in? Wow, your eyes are um, having a party all to themselves, madame. And you are Celine Sverch. Okay, let's have a look. Right, so your eyes aren't meant to be open. You do have the mole, right? Okay. Um, I'm a resident of my building and I come from my job as a model. Floor one, apartment four. Yeah. So who's this one again? Celine. The mole is on the right side, I'm sure. Yeah, it is. It's correct. Right. 7856132. So that's right. So let's check and see if she's home. Six. Well, first, I'm not a questioner about her eyes, right? So ID's right. Appearances of. 
She is on the desus. Let's ask about her eyes. Yes. Honey, what's wrong with your eyes? Normal human eyes don't um, party that way. Right, so. Um, 6996. It's really awkward to get the 78s and 9 sometimes. Hi, there is your sister's home. Okay, that's all I need to know. Thank you, ma'am. Yeah, I kind of figured. Especially not a googly-eyed one like this. Sorry, ma'am, but you're going straight to hell! God, we're getting a lot more of the doppelgangers now, aren't we? Thank you. Right, Gloria Schmidt, I'm sure I've dealt with you before. ID's incorrect date. I'm Gloria Schmidt, second floor, first apartment. She is a resident. Yep, so that all checks out. She's not on the list. So, um, floor two, apartment one. Round face, mole on the right cheek, short hair, round nose. So the mole... Oh, she's no mole. She's no mole. So the ID's right, the appearance is wrong, the entry request is right. So let's question the bitch. You don't have a mole. No, it's not, honey. Nope, you're not. And I bet when I call your husband, you're sitting next to him. Five, one, two, three. Oh! Okay, let's just wait for this phone. Oh, hi, Gloria. I'm speaking to you at the front desk at the moment. Oh, you're in your apartment. My mistake. I'm very sorry. Yeah, I kind of figured. Thanks for your help. Sorry, Gloria fake. You're going straight to hell! These doppelgangers are coming out in force. Yep. How many more people do I need to um, screen for this? Oh, is that my shift done? Oh! Captured eight doppelgangers. Neighbors killed zero. Z oh, yes! We are the best! No details. Okay, but that is amazing. 
we no doppelganger got by us well guys i really hope you enjoyed this i was kind of wondering like when this was going to end because we're already at 40 minutes already but thanks for anybody that's still here at the end of this video if you did enjoy it this is just a little bonus video of course you can keep doing it and you eventually build up a record um, of all the times that you've let people in and stuff and you get different ranks so it's different every time you play it um but yeah i really appreciate your time um please do comment and leave a like it really does help it's a free way you can help the channel and it helps us grow but yeah thanks for staying here and spending some time catching doppelgangers with me and i guess i will see you all in the next one Ta-ra! <laughs> Wow, 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 wow.